well, graduation hat. Most guys seen on Instagram, me doing this, but this is what I am doing. And I did the process. This video will show the process of it, how to get all the lining going. I'm actually doing the beading right now, but I'll show that once I get to this section here. Because I'm still figuring out the design and the pattern. I mean, it does look good. I'm using 13s through this with 15s. And this video will show the reveal, how to put the... Well, I just tacked the whole thing down. And the tape line. But I'll do a separate video of this to show how I did the bead work on this. That'll be the section once I get, like I said, the pattern done. So, hopefully this helps you. Okay, so I am doing a graduation cap. I've never done one before, so... This is me kind of fumbling and stumbling through it. So just bear with me through this. That's a learning process and I'm trying to learn. So basically I just tacked down the edges because if you guys ever held a graduation cap, you guys know that these like to give a move. And normally I see people use tape, but I've misplaced my tape. But lucky for me, I have a, a crown. Marking by my fabric, fabric pencil that I used to make my marking. I'm not really sure how to do the marking. I mean, they want a thin border, so this is only like an inch and or Jesus, what is that? Less than half, like three eighths of an inch border going all around us. So that's what I'm gonna use as a reference line. I would I would prefer to use tape because then it gives me a little more crisp edge to line up my stuff on. So I'm kind of just fumbling through just like I said. But it goes through. I did my stitching inside here. Just so the pieces don't move around too much on me. While I'm trying to follow my line. I mean, I want to have a really straight line. And I'm thinking I might do a little peyote stitching in it. Not too much, but just to keep it um, uniform. Because I'll be using my 12s and 13s. And yeah. I was doing this project. I mean, it looks nice on camera right now. Mm, it looks pretty. But as I take pictures of these, they don't look good on pictures for some reason. I don't like using my phone, but this gives me like the video quality I'm looking for on how it looks. I really like it. I like how the green is in it. But I got to message the buyer and ask about it. So I may keep going on that depending on what the buyer says but this is kind of where I'm starting and I'm gonna be adding beads to this so I'll probably come back a little later once if I do find my tape and start putting beads on this because this is actually pretty easy to beat through so let me try to find my tape real fast and I'll get this taped up so I can have my reveal shown on here and I'll be using blue painters tape I have a really thick one, but I don't want to be using like a really thick, <laughs> big of Peter's tape. But, okay, so if I have to, I'll use that. If not, then I'll be back with the other tape. Okay, so I found my painter's tape. Just the wide roll, but it's not the thin roll. I mean, like I said, I'm using three eighths of an inch gap on mine. Top and bottom. You can see. So I'm just trying to get the get it taped on the inside so I can get pretty good so if, what I do is get to get these corners done just measure in three quarters of the tape put your nail on that and just tape it so then that stays there as you can see I did this height here too as well and this is kind of like a 45 inwards so if I put my next layer of tape you can tear it kind of long I can run it there and there. Just put it on gently. And then measure your bottom for your 3H reveal. As you can see, I'm slightly off. So just peel it up, mark it, line it up. Mark it to there. And then do the same to the top for the reveal. I'm slightly 
Ó. It's all preparation. Once you get it ready, tape it down. And like I said, do your three eighths. Put your nail down and tape. And just push that in. So it lines up and gives you your corner. So same with the side two. Go in your three eighths or whatever your length is. So use half inch, freeze the inch, freeze the quarter. You can use this. It's basically what I use for like painting a house. Ooh. I don't have one nailed down. Pretty good. There you go. Just make sure you press down pretty good. So it gives you that nice tear line. And just work your way around the corner and we'll give you your your bead line without having to mess up the fabric or even right on the fabric. Let's see. Draw on the cap. So three eighths. Let's go over this way. Yeah, don't press down too hard on this because you're gonna be doing a bunch of adjusting here. Oh, it's so close. That's good. And I can line this part up, go across, and do it once again. I swear. Da, 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 da. If there's a fan noise in the back, it's hot where I'm at, so don't mind a fan. Just like that. One more. This one you could basically just line it up with the bottom of your tear lines to begin with. Then make sure it's right. And pretty much right on. There and there. With this here you can just up to the corner, figure out where it is, bring your finger in, free hand there, and tear. Same thing, just bring it up, put your finger there, and tear. Yeah, it does look kind of crazy, but as you can see, it doesn't make it square. I mean, if you want to make it more perfect, you can, but this is just there for me to mark on. So from here, you can do a nice surface to write on. So you have your big ruler. This is where I use metric. I've never done this before, but I did this earlier. I messed up, that's why I tack everything now. But you can measure it outside your hat. So this is roughly 24, was it meters, centimeters long? Cause I can divide that in half and do 12. And these will be my marks and uh, for centering my line. And you can do whatever marks you want, but me, I'm doing like six and 18. So kind of divide it into like four sections. I mean, since you know it's, well actually, I shouldn't be doing that. That's right, because 24 is outside, 
blah, blah, blah. Just as long as you get to center. So when six out, and six out from the center. If I was gonna do here and here, it'd be 11. So 11, that's a uh, five and a half. Then go from here, five and a half. But then you can mark it six and your six, 12. So then you know where all your, where your marks are if you have like multiple marks at. Then you know the distance. Oops. Yep, that one's six. But just be sure to measure it and mark it the way you have it and like it. And just go around from there. But when you do one side, then you can measure off with your ruler. Then transfer your pattern all around. So then you can have your same markings through your pattern. So this is just me doing a general outline of it. Then you can actually easily beat through this. But for me, I'm using a 12. I'm using tulips. Just because I know they're a little stronger as a needle. Then I do my other like James, John James or um, Lance or what's the other one? Pony. Because I used tulips before, tulips before for beating. And I know they are a bit more durable for something like this. So I'll cut back to actually me beating and actually let me just show you how easy it is to go through. So I'm using a size 12 needle and there's actually two layers so you push through and you'll feel like a little stop middle then you'll go through it and then you just pull it make sure you pull straight out don't pull crooked sideways any way other direction just pull straight and it works and you go straight in I mean use consistent force don't just like force it in I mean consistency just like that and that's it and that's how you basically put tape on the hat mark it out make sure you have some good rulers I keep two different kinds bought them from Michaels Hub Lobby you can find them art section I don't know but let me get back to being this thing and stumbling through this my first hat so bear with me